I can still remember staring in the mirror as my eyes filled with tears and then the tears pouring down my face, literally leaving me in a puddle of my own brokenness. I can remember staring in the mirror, feeling like the most broken human in the history of broken humans. I can still remember in those moments thinking to myself, and nobody is here to witness this pain. Thinking to myself in a world of 7 billion people, nobody understands what I am currently enduring. The truth is, nobody is going to fully understand your particular type of pain. They may not see how hard you fought to survive after being through hell. When perhaps and most likely the last thing you wanted to do was survive. They may not see how hard it was for you to be in the existing again phase. Where you're not living again, but you realize you're going to survive. And you don't know what to do with this now. <laughs> because you're completely lost. They may not see the effort that you put in when you actually decide you want to live again. And you attempt to rebuild, but it's not a linear process. And you keep getting knocked back down. One of the worst parts of walking through hell on earth is the feeling that you're doing it all alone. The feeling that you're in the bathroom staring at the mirror, sobbing, and nobody sees your pain. The feeling of being broken on the floor like you will never, ever, ever be able to get back up and nobody sees your pain. The feeling of eventually trying to rebuild and find happiness and find life again. And nobody sees your effort, which is why it becomes even more important for you to see your own effort. The effort it took to survive, the effort it took to exist, the effort it took and is still taking to rebuild. You have to validate your own pain, your own courage, and the fact that no matter what happens, you somehow, some way, keep getting back.